What's up, YouTube? Another episode of Hickey's Chopper Corner here. I think when I left off on my last video, uh, I was having trouble getting the two lower legs uh, on this hardtail to uh, match up to the to the frame. Uh, so I had to go to my favorite door, pick up a clamp, squeeze those together. Uh, but some of what I didn't really show yesterday, some good paper. Oh, bam, Pantera. I wear my Lamb of God shirt in my next video. Amazing concert uh, Friday night. Second time I'd seen Lamb of God, first time I'd ever seen Pantera. Uh, pretty cool, man, it was a great show. Zach Wilde's playing guitar for him now. Oh, I think that the opening band was a band called Nest. Um, up and coming band, I think they're on Phil and Solomon's label, I'm not sure. I think that's what the guy that I went with told me, but it was a banging show. But anyway, showed y'all in the other video where I cut it, how to get it loose from here and don't kill your backbone, which I got all kind of holes drilled in this backbone. <laughs> There's a hole here, hole here, hole here, hole here. I'll probably try to weld those up. Don't need them. I am not gonna cut the upper tank mount off of this one. I'm gonna make that hole where the speedo, the dash speedo used to go in, I'm gonna make it work uh, for the tank. I'll cut these rear, cut these rear ones off because they're not hard to put back on. So I'll cut those off. Uh, and, and and with all intents and purposes, that rear end could be welded back on. I, I would want a frame jig to do that. Which I may get a frame jig someday and try my hand at raking a frame. I'd love to do that. I've got a Springer that's, uh, oh man, I've got it down at my guy that's building my panhead. He's got it. He's putting new springs in it. He's putting new bushings in, new rockers on it. But it's an 18 over stock. It's a pretty long Springer. Too long to put on a stock frame unless you want the bottom of your frame sticking up like that. I don't want to look like a clown. But anyway, once you get everything cut, grind all your, you know, you knock all your powder coat off, you drill your holes for your rosette welds, uh, bevel your frame right here so you can get nice penetration down in there for your, I said penetration. Uh, take your little die grinder, stick it in there, clean all that rust and years of crap that builds up in these frames. Uh, but one thing I had to do, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but these slugs, they're rosette welded in, but they put a little spot of tack weld here and a little spot of tack weld here. And that tack weld was holding me up just the amount I think I need uh, to make my transmission plate. Uh, and we'll see since I've done vent that once if this will just slide in there if I'm going to have to put the vise back on it. Yep, it's spraying back. That figures. That's not the hardware that goes in there, but that's the hardware I'm gonna use. Looks like I'm gonna have to cut a little more off. They tell you to start with seven and three quarters, you know, and then take it down as you go because they don't want you to overcut it. But I'm trying to decide how much I need to take down. I 
either. That one started. But it's putting pressure on those, isn't it? That's three of them started, but that one don't want to go. So she needs to come on this way here. So I'm gonna take a little bit off of that one and a little bit more off this one and get the plate on it. Okay, uh, bring y'all back shortly. All right, we got it all fitted up. I got it in there where my transmission bolts will go in. Still got a little bit of play in that, so that's good. Uh, that's what you want to look for. Uh, I need to clamp this straight edge on up here. And of course, the other clamp that I need is nowhere around. Just need you to hold that for a second. Just hold it for a second. Uh, now, if you want them all rolled up shops, uh, and that ain't gonna work. stuff like this, but I ain't got one, so. Ah, I just need you to stay for a second. If I got a zip tie, get ready to get my tape in there. All right, I got 53 tape measures around here. I probably don't see none.
What's up, pilots? There we go. She's in there. We're going to weld her up a little bit, fellas. Y'all hang tight. All right, we back again. We're going to weld these rosette welds up. I'm gonna hit the two rosette welds. I'm not gonna weld the seam yet. I kinda of got this ratchet strap right in my way. I need to turn that, I need to turn that heat up a little bit, hold up. Shit, that looks as good as the people that made it. That one's mine. That was the one that whoever built it. Some uh somebody over in Taiwan, I would imagine. Let me go hit one on the other side and I'll come back and get the other one on that side. Got to figure out how to keep those where I want them. I can always mark it where it is, and if it don't stay,
But the problem is, I need to get those up a little. Uh, man, I don't know if I got a straight enough piece to do that with. Uh, I got some pipe over here, this will work. do some ciphering y'all I'll bring y'all back shortly for those of y'all that don't know ciphering is hillbilly for figuring it out all right we got her tacked up we're starting to make her look like a motorcycle again I'm gonna have to cut some of that. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of that down. Get my wheel lined up. Then uh, I'll need to order the brake caliper and the bracket for back here. Get it lined up. Let's see, what do I need to keep moving? I'm buying these parts just as I need to keep moving. Brake caliper, brake caliper, bracket. Ooh, that weld's still hot. Uh, get the motor in, get the transmission in, get the primary. Because I'm putting an electric start on here, so I got the outer primary. Line it back up, then that means my transmission and my uh, engine are lined up. Make sure I got the back wheel lined up with the transmission sprocket. Bracket, caliper, spacers, back wheel is where it's going to live. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and put the chain on it. Uh, then I'll set my fender. I didn't fool with making a seat pan. 
This seat pan, this seat pan is actually for that bike over there. I'll cut this off and I'll take some of my sheet metal and I'll make a different bottom. I gotta cut this weld here and here and cut it right here. And I need to extend this by about an inch and a quarter to make it match the CC bar on that bike over there. But just for shit and giggles, we kind of get a look at what we're gonna be looking like on this dude. Of course, this is not the fender I'm gonna run, guys. It's just the only fender I have available. You know, the fender's gonna live more like that right there. And I have to bend this around and flex it. Make it work. But it all lives together kind of like that right there. Uh, I don't know who that is calling me. I'll have to see back about that later. But let me back up a little bit. I'm gonna like it with that big wheel in the front and that FLH front end. Man, I see the look this I'm going for on this one. I think I wanna get a wide glide, an old wide glide fender. <coughs> the one with the swoop on it a little bit. A stock, a stock wide glide fender, I think. Yeah. So far, that's what I'm seeing. I'm gonna need a big tank. Peanut tank ain't gonna work. I think I'm gonna need a big tank. Yeah, I'm starting to see it. Uh, the only uh, the only gas tank I got available is that Sportster tank over there, but we'll sit it up there and see how it looks. This is why I started getting excited when the bike starts to come together. Uh, have a little bit of... Uh, I can start to see it a little bit, you know? Bring y'all back a little bit. This is mock up, everybody, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a lot of wide glide style fender. I'm going to stick with my traditional king queen seat. Every bike I have got a king queen seat on it. Tall sissy bar. Hell. If I can find the King's Forster tank, I don't know. It's coming together and I'm starting to dig it, man. I just want to keep putting parts and pieces on it, but every damn part and piece I put on it, I just gotta take it right back off again. But I think I'm digging it. I think I'm digging it. I couldn't let the lift down, put the motor back in it. No, nah, because I gotta take everything off of it, carry this frame to work, tick weld this frame up, because I'm just putting 
high heat, big old welds on there to tack it together. I wanted TIG welded because that one we got at work, it'll just penetrate that steel so much better than that one that I got over there. I need that thread pitch, that length, thread it all the way down. I gotta take that one with me. Mm, I don't know if this will fit in here with uh, with that in there. It might. I don't know. I definitely gotta take that transmission plate off. It's just gonna slide around. No, I don't have leaves in there. If I can clear everything. We ain't gonna run this jockey shift on this one. That ain't exactly how she's gonna live, but I'm just doing this for my visualization purposes. Set up our half ass for me now. See it, I can dig it. I gotta find the right tank. That's the only thing. If I take them out, this tank will come on up. It'll come down and bolt up right there. Cut them back mounts off. Man, I gotta almost take that, make that tank right there work. I might do that. I don't know. I'll probably change my mind 43 times, to be honest with y'all. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody can see past just the mock-up part of it. You know what I mean? That's the only fender I had. It's sitting right down on the damn tire. But, you know, kind of gives me an idea. Kind of gives me an idea. I think I like it, though. I think I like it. Matter of fact, I know I like it. Just an old school rigid frame bike. Not really all choppered out. Just, yeah. I kind of like it. Anyway, we're going to shut this video down. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is part three of the FLH uh, build. And uh, you guys tune in to Slick up at Slickhead Custom Cycles. All the channels that I watch and support. Uh, this old chopper, Wrench and Wreck, Ralph up at It's My Time, Let's Go, Ironhead Sally, Saddle Tramp, all you guys. I keep up with y'all's channel. So, hope y'all are doing well. And uh, keep tuning in to follow this train wreck at Hippie's Chopper Corner, home of the sketchy chopper. We keep them sketchy all the time.